Welcome to yet another day and another video in the almost said the truck camper build series. <laughs> nope, this is the Mercedes. This is the Mercedes. Gotta remember what I'm working on here. Rust repairs are, let's call them done for now. And we have the major ones, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the fluid film protection underneath the car. Now, all the floor holes that I made from picking at the rust and spraying a little bit of that rust converter spray paint or whatnot, there are some holes in the floor. Uh, I just took some rubber grommets. So I bought an assortment of rubber grommets, uh, which are just essentially like, um, they're just like plugs. This one's actually meant to be cut, but I found some oval ones. These are all just off Amazon. They're not, I'm sure they're not the best quality, but with com combining all of these different ones, I was able to plug the major, the main holes in the floor and all that. And that is um, good because there'll be less water shooting up through the floor when you're driving. So anyway, with all those grommets in there, everything's good. There are a ton of body plugs, which is the same thing essentially that came factory from Mercedes. That is throughout the body in the in different portions so that you can access behind um, different body panels and whatever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out every single one of those body plugs and I'm going to take the straw that comes with the fluid film kit and spray the fluid film with the 360 uh, degree bit or whatever it's called wand in there and fill all those body cavities and all that stuff as best I can with the fluid film here in the garage. I took all of the door panels off one by one, took them off, took them off, that one's broken, and I lubricated what I could as far as locks and things of that nature and then I also checked to make sure that the door um, drains, which the drains are right in this area, it's so hard to see. You gotta like get on your back. Oh, there's a little rust right there. But anyway, that's about like the most rust on all these doors. It's like right there. I cleared all the drains and went into the door panel and sprayed fluid film with a can with a straw all on the bottom and on the sides a little bit, but mainly on the bottom where the water's gonna run down and drain out. So did it on all four doors. So hopefully that will help with slow down the rust and I got this towel in here but way back in there where the uh, um, gas strut goes there's quite a bit of rust on this definitely on the driver's side so I sprayed the heck out of it I can't get back there I mean that's not simple to get to so I just it's pretty bad rust it's not like rusted through but I'm sure there would be some holes if I poked I just sprayed it with fluid film hopefully it just <laughs> stops it or slows it down um, but anyway, I got that done, and then I pulled the tail light out, which we pulled out when I, the, you know, at the previous owner's place before I drove it to fix a ground. But um, there's some rust in here; it's starting to rust on the edges here. Uh, but what I, I think there's a drain here, and I'm gonna take a little screwdriver and see if I can get this to. I think because I read that there's drains in here, and you know what? I think that's a little drain. So that is definitely a drain. I just took a little screwdriver and poked it. And then I took a weed whacker string. And I pushed that down through there. I'll show you underneath. This is hard to see, but I was wondering what this thing was. And there's a little, little nipple type thing here. And that is the taillight drain. Let's see what this one's like. Oh, juicy. Look at all that. Nice. So here's what I got from fluid film. I got a spray can, which looks like a normal nozzle there. Two different spraying tips here. So this is the 360 bit. That's the 360 bit. It's got one out the front and a bunch of them on the sides. And then what's this guy? Oh, this is just a this is just an extendo bit. And then obviously I got a gallon of the actual fluid film itself. Let's see. How she be? And smell it. Okay. Oh, it's good. Good and gelatinous. So what we've got is one of these gallon mixers on a 
drill, see what it looks like. Okay, we finally have got all of the grommets. I'm not gonna say all, but most of the grommets underneath the frame that need to be removed. So I'm gonna show you a couple locations where there are grommets. This is just on the driver's side of the engine on the frame. There's a grommet that looked like this that popped out. So that's cool. So now I can get the wand up in there. They're the only two up in the front that I could find. On the front fenders, oh, down by the rocker, there's a big one there. Along the rocker on the underside, you can see that I have them just barely pushed back in. That's to let me know that it has not been purged yet or sprayed. And then there was not grommets on this frame portion. So I did put some there. I, I don't know if that's a mistake, but it's gonna be filled with fluid film, so hopefully, I don't know, it's not a problem. This one actually allows it to drain, so I don't know if then this fills with water, then it'll drain out here. But these have little holes in it that are now cleared. These are some holes in the floor. Those grommets I'm not going to pull because it goes right into the floor. I'm just going to spray over them. This is uh, the rear quarter panel rocker area. This is just forward of the rear tire. There's a big boy there. And then there's one underneath. Just rear of the rear tire. There's a hole here just on, on the outside of the muffler. This one was really nice and supple because it was completely covered with that undercoating. Both sides have that. They're the only ones on the frame rail that I could find. I call it the frame rail, but you know what I mean. The rear bumper right here, just forward of the rear bumper. If you look in there, those are all, a whole bunch of them that I got hanging out there. So you can see, I guess that they sprayed like an anti-rust, similar to fluid film, but it's hard, like a wax from factory, as well as the undercoating. That's what I've been reading. There are, this is the tail light hole, right? And then, um, so I left this open because I'm going to spray with the gun in here. So I got it all mixed, got it filled in the gun here. Um, I got the 360 wand going on. And I'm going to get this thing, I got the PSI set, I'm going to start. Alright, Jay's here getting ready to spray some fluid film under the chassis. Taking out the grommet. And he's going to pipe that tube up there that has like a 360 sprayer. And he's going to use that. Measuring to see how far of a reach he got. So what I'm doing is I put this in and then I just spray it with this, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be good for rubber, just so that I know that it's, like this one's not done, this one is done. What you guys watching on YouTube can't experience is the smell of that stuff. Which is pretty nasty. It's like cat pee or overripe rotting berries. I don't know. It's nasty.
there you have it. We got the Mercedes diesel wagon back inside, soaking wet. Started sleeting, raining. <sighs> but we got it done. We got the fluid film totally everywhere underneath it that we wanted. Pretty much went through one gallon. We could have went through a gallon if I wasn't rushing. The things that I did not show are, well first you saw that I did all the pockets and everything inside, all your tubing and frame rails if you will and all that stuff. Then I moved it outside, jacked up the front of the vehicle, got everything that I could with the front of the vehicle jacked up, moving cardboard around. Then I backed up on top of ramps, put some jack stands under for safety, and then did the same thing on the rear. Did, did everything I could with the rear. Then I got it back on all four tires, cracked loose every single lug nut, jacked up one wheel at a time, ripped the lug nuts out of there, or lug bolts in this thing, and then went in, which you won't be able to see, but with the inner fender well, the, pl the plastic inner fender well is still out, and I just hogged it all in there. I went in there, um, again, I had a jack stand just in case the jack failed, and you can't really see, but this, without that inner fender well, it'll go all the way back to the cab, or whatever you call it in a car. I did that on all four of the wheel wells, and then there was also some chassis components like the springs, uh, steering components, things of that nature that I could get to better from the wheel well versus being underneath, like when I was underneath it. But I'll tell you what, I sprayed everything. I sprayed the engine, I, sp I sprayed it all. I just was spraying it, because whatever's gonna burn off, let her burn. Just burn it, it's like oil. The oil leaking on the exhaust all over the place, burning all the time. What's the difference? I've taken that fluid film and sprayed it on rubber components, and um, just thinking it would preserve them, it made them crack prematurely. Definitely made them crack fast. On the fluid film can, it'll say, pay special attention to rubber components. So what I did was I took this silicone lubricant right here, and I sprayed that on all the rubber bushings, all the rubber that I could find before, look at it, Sherman wants to be on film. Who is it, Sherman? I sprayed all of those components, and then that was before I went and hog wild with the fluid film. And I changed it to like a normal tip when I was spraying it like crazy. And uh, I think I was running 75 PSI. So I just removed the vent, just like the other side there, but got this one off. And there's a bunch of drains down there. Well, there's a couple drains, but anyway, what I'm gonna do is just uh, spray fluid film. There's no rust as of now. Okay, we got both of the vents out. Look, you just lay it down. What are you doing? Okay. We have both of the vents out. And we got fluid film. There's drains down there. I took a detail spray and just sprayed because the, the, the edges were pretty nasty where that, you know, the overlay was. This side, a little trickier. Had to remove the wiper. There's a tape or a spline on there. And I tried to lubricate that one joint, but anyway, same deal. Same situation. These are the clips. They're like those little push style clips. That's going to do it here for the fluid film underneath the car, all over, wherever. Got the taillights back in the car. That's done. Another thing that I did was underneath here, there's a, uh, when you lift this trim up, there's actually a little bit of rust under there. I just lifted that up with a straw on the can of fluid film and sprayed it in there. Just little spots like that. Any rust that was too difficult to get at on the body itself, I did that with fluid film. There, there wasn't much. It was just that little portion under the trim. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video with the Mercedes diesel wagon. We are getting it closer to be able to drive it on the roads. Stay tuned. Next video, we're going to be working on the paint buffing and waxing the paint to try and protect that the best we can so stay tuned